In this video, you will learn how to get historical stock data for companies listed in the NSC, the National Stock Exchange of India. The list of historical data that we will cover includes historical financials, key metrics, price data, and dividend data. Okay, so let's start with how it is that you can get historical financials and key metrics for NSC listed companies. So there's many ways in which you can do this. The one that I recommend the most is to get the financials and the data on Excel. In this way, you can do any calculations you like, any graphs, any reports. It just makes it a lot more easy for you to do your analysis. One of the common methods that I see people doing, which is not very effective, is to go to a site like Yahoo Finance, type a company, and then look at the financial statements and then copy paste the data into the spreadsheet the problem with this method is that for every company you analyze you're going to get an output like this and then you have to fix it and the problem is also that the data is very limited it only goes back to 2019 so if you're doing some serious historical stock analysis for NSE companies this is definitely not the way that i recommend doing it the easiest way instead of doing this is to use Y sheets and on here you can just type the company name or the ticker so we're gonna do reliance and here you can see that is listed in the NSC you can select annual or quarterly data in this case we'll keep it annual and then in one click what's gonna happen is that you're gonna get all of the financial statements and all of them are gonna be properly formatted so you don't have to do anything and the data goes back to 2005 usually we have a bit more uh, coverage going back 2003 it really depends on the company once you have this data on your spreadsheet then at this point there's no limits to what you can do you can do any types of graphs that you like you can do any calculations percentage change analysis all that type of stuff the one thing that i find personally very helpful is to use the key metrics tab and here you get access to all these very valuable key metrics and you get them historically so you can see how this uh, key metrics change over time as well now to get all this data at once it can be a little bit overwhelming so the good thing about Y sheets is that there's this wise function and you can learn how it works right here so we can pick any key metrics that we want or anything from the financial statements. So in this case, let's just pick some key metrics. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this ones here. We'll copy, paste them here. And what's gonna happen is that across these two companies that were selected at random, we're gonna get the key metrics uh, to be able to compare them. So all you need to do is equals wise enter the symbol parameter or parameters so we could select all of these ones and then the period and this could be ly which is the last year lq the last quarter ttm the trailing 12 months or a specific year and quarter in this case we'll just do ttm to be able to compare them more accurately and remove that seasonality aspect and here all we need to do is make sure to lock in the cells and you'll see why in a second. And as you can see, we will get the data. We'll just format it here. And then from here, I can just drag this. And as you can see, now we can get it for this company as well. And if we had a list of many different companies, we could continue to do this as well. The interesting part is that you can not only build your own models to your own liking but you can take something that the community already built and make it better for your specific use case so in that case all you have to do is go to wise templates and then pick a template that fits your use case so for example let's say that you want to do a dcf a discounted cash flow and you're in excel you would select here click and then what's going to happen is that you're going to get the template on your spreadsheet and then from here you can change any of the inputs of the template or you can change the template altogether it's really up to you so let's say that we want to use this template for reliance in that case uh, we'll just enter the ticker 
And as you can see, the data will automatically update. And then from here, we could, you know, get something like the potential upside, downside, uh, the share price, uh, and the value of that particular company. Just keep in mind that obviously, if you change the assumptions and the numbers, what you will get will be different. But the beauty is that you get the template already made. And now you can only change a few numbers or a few things that are important to you. And boom, you're going to get all the data and all the analysis you need a lot faster. It is important to mention that this method works on both Excel and Google Sheets. So here I am on Google Sheets. And now I'm going to show you how to get historical pricing data for companies listed in the NSC. So it's very simple. All you have to do is use the wise price function. And again, we have instructions on how to use that function within the add on. Here you enter the ticker parameters. So here we're going to look for the close, but you can see on our documentation, uh, the different parameters that are available for historical pricing data. And then here, something we could do to make our lives easier is to enter number of days to end. So let's say we only want to get data for the last 20 days. In this case, we'll just enter 20. And now the function will load. And as you can see, we're going to get the data in this format. So we get the close and we get the date. And then from here, we could do any calculations we like, such as the percentage change, for example. Getting historical dividend payment data for NSC stocks is not that much different. All you have to do is enter equals wise price again. And then here you enter the company ticker. So in this case, Reliance. And then here, all you have to do is enter dividend as a parameter. And the beauty of this is that you're going to get all this data at once. So you're going to get the date, the dividend, the adjusted dividend, the payment date and declaration date. And as you can see, this data is pretty extensive. So it goes back in this case to 1995. This makes it a lot easier for you to be able to analyze uh, companies listed in the NSC from a dividend perspective. So there you go. Now you can get historical stock data for NSC stocks in terms of the income statement, the balance sheet, cash flow, key metrics, financial growth metrics, dividend data, historical pricing data, and more using Y sheets. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And also let me know in the comments if you would like me to make a video on how to get real time stock data for NSC stocks. I'll see you in the next one.